Hey guys, welcome to the film room. We're about to cover one of my favorite topics, which is terminology. And the reason I love this topic is because it takes difficult concepts in basketball and makes them easy to understand. And the best part is, even if I call something different than what you're used to, it just expands everybody's knowledge and helps us appreciate the game more. So let's get into it. Now, if there's one thing about EuroLeague, it's that they love ball screens. So we're going to start there. Anytime a screen is set that sends somebody to the middle of the floor, we refer to it as a get or a simple screen. And when the ball screen is set and it sends the ball handler to the sideline baseline, typically on the outer third of the court, we refer to that as a step up screen. And some people would even use the terminology alley screen. Then when it comes to using the ball screen, anytime that someone decides to go the opposite direction of where it's set, we call that a reject or a refusal. Some people would even say turning down a screen. And one thing I see a lot in EuroLeague is when ball screens are set, oftentimes the defender gets underneath it, and so the big will set a re-screen, which we would refer to as a twist. So a ball screen that's set that turns into another ball screen the other direction, we would call that a twist. And something that doesn't get used enough is what we would refer to as an inverted ball screen. And this is where the guard is gonna set a screen for the big to come off of. This is really difficult to defend because most guards aren't used to hedging or helping like bigs are. Now we'll transition into actions that you see in a game. Anytime a big runs into a ball screen in transition early, we would just call that a drag screen and some people would even say an early drag. So naturally, if you come down in transition and there are two guys that run into a ball screen, we would refer to that as a double drag. And typically you want one of the guys setting the screen to be a shooter so that one guy can pop and one guy can roll and it puts stress on the defense. These next two concepts are for middle ball screens. And the first one is referred to as a ram screen or ram action. And what you're gonna do is set a screen for the man who's going up to set a ball screen to force them to either switch or they're late on their help and that screws up their ball screen coverage. And all of you should be pretty familiar with this next one because in America, we refer to it as Spain. Now I've been told in some comments that you guys call it a Spanish screen, but what it is is it's a middle flat ball screen and then you're gonna take a shooter and as the guard is coming off of the ball screen, the shooter will set a back screen for the ball screener who rolls and then the guard is typically gonna pop. I personally think this is one of the most difficult actions to guard, so from America to you guys, thank you for such a great action. The next play is referred to as zoom in America, and this is where you're gonna have a guy come off of a down screen right into a dribble handoff that almost functions like a ball screen, and this has become widely popular in the United States recently. This next ball screen concept or action is what we call horns. And it's any time you have two guys right around the elbow setting screens on both sides, and then you have people in the corners. Now in this particular play, we would call it horns clear because this guy right here is going to slip out and create a double gap for the guard to drive downhill. And this is a formation or a set that teams can run multiple things out of. So one of the things that teams will do in horns is they will throw it to one of the guys at the elbow, which we would refer to as the pinch post area. And then you can do a lot of things. Here they just go into a ball screen. Something else I see in EuroLeague a lot that starts with a post entry that the Golden State Warriors did for years and kind of made it famous over here is throw it into the post and then go into what we would call split action. And the most basic way to do that is setting a cross screen and having a guard come over to get a shot. But something that happens here that the Warriors refer to as gaggle is you're gonna set two screens away and this guy is going to tight curl around the first one to potentially get a layup and then they're gonna bring a shooter back off. It creates a lot of confusion and typically opens up an open shot. And this next concept is widely popular in college basketball and we call it a stagger or double stagger. So you're gonna have two guys going and set a staggered screen and the guy receiving it can either reject the first one or curl around the first one like you see here or come straight off and then there's a lot of ball screens that are set out of it. This next action is ironically known as America's here in the United States because everyone in America runs it. It's a screen the screener action. 
So a guard is typically going to set a screen for a big, and then he's going to receive a screen from the other big. So people will call this screen the screener or cross screen down screen, but oftentimes it's just referred to as America's. This next play is almost always run as a late game situation when you need a three, and we almost always refer to it as hammer. The reason why is because as the ball handler drives baseline, you're going to set this blind crack back screen so that you can throw what we call a hammer pass for a catch and shoot shot, and then most teams will run this crack back action behind to have multiple options. And probably one of the most popular ways to get into your offense right now in college is referred to as stack. And that's where you're going to have two guys stacked on the free throw line, and you're going to have somebody pop out and catch it on the wing, and from there there's a lot of things that you can do. So in this particular play, they're going to set what is referred to as a paired side ball screen. And the reason we call it that is because there's a pair of guards on this side of the court, and there's a pair of guards on this side of the court, and this is where you get this pick and roll where your big is gonna roll to the rim and the guard is going to shake or lift in behind, making it difficult on that tag man, and that's why this alley-oop's wide open. And it's important to understand the difference between a paired side ball screen and what I would refer to as a cleared side ball screen. This is where there's nobody in this strong side corner and all three of the other players are on this side. And I'm actually gonna do a video on cleared side ball screens at some point, so stay tuned. Now most teams will get into their offense by running some sort of action to either get somebody open or create an advantage. This is referred to as a zipper or a zipper screen because it's a down screen with a guard coming up and catching it almost like a zipper being zipped up. And one of the most common things to happen after that zipper screen is a middle ball screen like you just saw in this clip. And another starter is what we would refer to as Iverson or Ivo. And this is named after Allen Iverson where you're gonna have two bigs at the elbows and you're gonna have a guard go over the top, a guard go underneath. And from there, you're gonna see probably some type of a ball screen action. Another really popular starter is what we call floppy. And this is where you're gonna have two bigs who are standing outside of the elbows to set screens. You're gonna have a primary guard or a shooter that can choose either side to go off of, and then the other guard will just go the opposite direction that he went. And there's two primary ways to set this up. So they're gonna start by doing what's called a touch action where you just throw it to somebody, they give it right back. Now he's gonna go underneath, here are your two screeners, he can go off either direction, and they're gonna put their other guard right here on the free throw line. He's just gonna read the guy coming off and then go the opposite direction. So just to give you an idea of how I as a coach would watch basketball and decide what's happening is this. In this play, this is stack to a touch to a flare screen, to a paired side ball screen, with a 45 cut or a back door for a dunk. Now I want to reiterate, if you watch this and think that's not what those are called, it doesn't mean that I'm right and you're wrong, it just means that we know different terms, and the more things you know, the better your IQ is. I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment if you call these actions different terms, because it's going to help me grow and understand more. Thanks for coming through, we'll see you next time in the film room.